Shanghai. Else here. And in this video, we'll be exploring the notes to the financial statements. The notes to the financial statements are not considered a financial statement per se, but they are an important and integral part of the financial statements. This is true for public corporations who must use IFRS and private corporations who choose to use IFRS. In addition, private corporations can choose to follow ASPE. If they do, they produce a slightly different set of financial statements. Companies following ASPE are also required to include notes to the financial statements. In these videos, I'll be using a public corporation to explain what the notes to the financial statements include. But this video will apply to companies following IFRS or ASPE. In order to demonstrate the notes to the financial statements, I've decided to use Dollarama Inc.'s annual report for the year ended February 2, 2014. If you download the annual report, you'll see that at the bottom of each of the four major financial statements, there is the following statement. The accompanying notes are an integral part of these consolidated financial statements. This is a warning to users. A failure to read the notes to the financial statements will result in incomplete knowledge of the company's financial health. The notes supplement the financial statements. Without them, it's not possible to fully understand the financial condition of the company. The notes should include any information that will improve the user's understanding of the financial statements. Although there are some choices as to what the notes should include, there are three basic types of notes that have to be included. First is a statement of compliance, indicating the use of either IFRS or ASPE. Since Dollarama is a public corporation, their compliance statement references the use of IFRS. This note is called the Basis of Preparation Note, and it must be included in every financial statement, whether using IFRS or ASPE. Next is a summary of significant accounting policies and rules used to prepare the financial statements. Again, this is required whether a company follows IFRS or ASPE. This note will include such things as the basis of measurement for specific financial assets and liabilities, how property, plant and equipment is valued, plus many other items. For Dollarama, the summary of significant accounting policies goes on for nine pages. This indicates the importance of this section of the notes to the financial statements. The third type of note disclosure is the relevant information to aid a user's understanding of individual line items reported on the face of the four financial statements. For instance, in Dollarama's notes, Note 7 gives details of the property and equipment that is listed under non-current assets on the Statement of Financial Position. Each line item from the financial statements that does have a note is cross-referenced to that note in order to help users locate the relevant information. There are other notes that may also be included, such as any disclosures that are required by specific standards or notes about items that are not listed on the statements themselves, such as exposure to significant risks. Although some notes are specifically required, IFRS and ASPE have a more general requirement that notes be provided for anything that would allow a user to better understand the company's financial health. Let's check your understanding of the notes to the financial statements. On April 9, 2014, Dollarama announced a 14% increase in their quarterly dividend. This announcement was made after the February 2nd financial statement date. Where, if at all, would this information be reported? Even though the increase in the dividend was announced after the date of the financial statements, it is a subsequent event that is important for the users to know in order to better understand the financial health of Dollarama. As such, it's not included in the face of any of the financial statements, but it must be included in the notes to the financial statements. The purpose of the notes is clear. Notes explain and expand on the information provided on the face of the financial statements. Companies are responsible for fully disclosing all relevant information for decision making, and the notes are a critical part of this responsibility. The notes to the financial statements include both qualitative and quantitative information, whatever is required to improve users' understanding. In fact, the notes include so much information that they make up the majority of the financial report. For instance, in Dollarama's annual report, there are only four pages dedicated to the financial statements themselves, but there are 25 pages of notes. Investors, lenders, and creditors use the notes to increase their understanding of the content of the financial statements so they can better understand the health of the company. We have now completed our lectures on the financial statements, but likely you, a student of accounting, have an even more important question. What are the steps you should use to attack a financial statement question on a test or an exam? And that is the subject of our next video.